What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and I'm ready to do some predictions for the Super Smash Bros. Direct that's coming tomorrow. Ooh, I'm so excited. And I'm gonna start off with characters. Yes, I know I'm getting the big thing out of the way first, so the rest of the video is gonna be all downhill from here. But there's one specific character I'm super excited for. And that character is Heihachi Mishima from Tekken. Now I have a video explaining the most likely third party characters for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, so if you want to find out the reasons why, then go check out that video because Heihachi made it to number 2. But why do I think he's going to be revealed this direct of all times? Well, it's super close to EVO which is a huge fighting game tournament, and Heihachi is the face of Tekken, the number one most successful fighting game out there so far. And plus people are theorizing all these different coincidences and stuff like, since the direct is August 8th, and 8 in Japanese is Hachi, they're thinking it's going to be Heihachi because of that, because the Direct is 8-8-2018. And there's a bunch of other little signs that people have found for Heihachi, so I won't go into them now because that would take up too much time, but just know that I predict Heihachi will be revealed if he is planned to be in the game at all. Next up, I think we'll get K. Rule revealed. He's one of the biggest requested characters aside from Ridley, so... It seems like the next step Nintendo would take when revealing characters for Smash. Also, Sakurai said he's tired and so his eyes might be red during the presentation, so people have taken that as a hint that K. Rule would be in. And last but not least, I think we'll get a new Echo Fighter. I know it's weird to predict there will be three characters revealed in a singular Direct, and we don't even know how long it is, but we don't know how many Directs they're planning between Ultimate's reveal and launch, so they could just be combining them into little chunks to spread out. We could get another Ultimate Direct in October or November, and then that would be it. Nothing in between them. But anyways, yes, those are the characters I'm predicting. Heihachi, K. Rule, and an Echo Fighter. Now, it could be any Echo Fighter, and people are predicting the Octolings because 8, but I don't know. I think Octo Expansion may have been too recent, despite how easy it would be to develop Echo Fighters. But we'll see. When it comes to stages, we already know that over 80 stages are being confirmed from what people have found from their character reveal trailers, from the character gameplay trailers, from images on the website, from gameplay that we've seen so far. Just everything, people are discovering all these different stages that have been shown off. I for one can't wait to see the new Donk City stage they teased and I bet they're gonna show more of it during this direct. Along with a few other stages, possibly more 3DS ones remastered in HD for the Switch. But one thing I'm super excited to see when it comes to stages is the Stage Builder. If any of y'all have played Smash with me, you know I love to make custom stages and all these weird different level layouts and designs and I just find it really fun and relaxing to do. So hopefully we get an incredible Stage Builder for Ultimate. But that's all I really have to say when it comes to stages too. When it comes to game modes, I have no doubt he's gonna show off Classic Mode and some kind of Adventure Mode if it's returning. Because people are also theorizing that because of the date of this Direct, there is going to be an adventure mode revealed because of when Brawl's adventure mode was revealed. So I'm honestly very interested to see what we get. I'm also expecting that Sakurai shows off the primary way to unlock characters. It could be buying them with coins, or he could have certain conditions like in Melee and Brawl. Or perhaps through the adventure mode. Sakurai said they were streamlining the conditions for unlocking characters, which means it will be pretty easy and there won't be much to interrupt the flow or speed of you unlocking them. So it's definitely going to be different than doing a certain number of battles, especially since there would be over 50 characters to unlock, with you starting with the original 64 cast. One thing I'm really hoping for though is a super expanded and refined version of the online mode. So many new features, so many new ways to play online, it would just be great because Smash has always been kind of lackluster online. Also, please get better netcode so half the matches aren't unplayable, please. But yeah, that's all I can think of when it comes to modes. I can't imagine Sakurai would reveal every single mode right away, especially when there's time for another direct down the line. He'll probably just reveal the big ones like Classic and Adventure if that one's planned, the online modes, and how to unlock characters. Now there are some extra stuff to speculate about, like more Pokemon, more assist trophies, more items. But when it comes to them, I really think Sakurai is going to focus on the new, because during the Smash Brothers section of the E3 direct, they really focused on what was returning. You know, every character, tons of stages, all that kind of stuff. I do think they'll go over music a lot though, because they've had a new music track every single week on the website since launch, so there's clearly lots of new music. They could possibly also go over more changes for characters that they didn't go over in the E3 Direct, because they did leave a lot of characters out, like Luigi for example. And for some reason that was the only one I could think of right now. 
Why? Why does no one care about Luigi? But yeah, overall, when it comes to the Direct as a whole, that's all I can really think of. A couple character reveals showing off some stages and modes, and some extra little tweaks and changes that are here and there in the game. I mean, if the Direct is 20 minutes like their time slot in the E3 conference, then that seems pretty reasonable, but it could be longer like if it was the 50 Facts Extravaganza for the Wii U game. Or it could get up to 40 minutes long like that Smash 4 Direct in April of 2014. So honestly, who knows what we could get? We could only get a little, or we could get a ton. It's so close, yet so far to the release date, so let's just see what Sakurai has in store for us tomorrow. Leopold the Brave, out!